Hi, I'm Sal. And I'm Kim. And we're the Castle, Castle Fam. Mm. <laughs> Hi guys. Today we're going to practice the ancient art of making your own homemade tea. So today's tea that we're going to use is from the Echinacea flower. This is a native North American flower that actually has its roots uh, used with the indigenous Native American people that quite actually use the roots. Today we're only going to be using the flower for our tea so Kimmy if you're ready to do the honors, do you want to harvest? I'm ready, let's do it. Ready for cutting. Okay, so how we know how where to cut this is we're gonna look for where another flower is about to grow. So in that case, it's down here. Then just snip it off. We already have two flowers. Now we're gonna cut more. We're gonna look for where the next flower is growing. It's right here. So we're gonna cut right above. Our echinacea is ready. Right here we have more echinacea plants, but as you can see, it's a little bit dry. We still wanna promote growth, so we're just gonna cut these anyways. Here's a one. Here's another. And then right here in a few months or a few weeks, we'll have more flowers. We want to add more flavor to our echinacea tea, so today we're gonna to add lemongrass. We're gonna look for the stockiest one because that's gonna have a lot of flavor. Just snip it, and there it is. Let's see that inside. We're gonna be using this. We're gonna take out the outer layer. Okay, last I'm harvesting mint, which grows really well here in Southern California. Just gonna cut, cut more. They grow back really easily, so I can use as much as I want. Okay, I think that's enough. Yay, now off to make tea. Like now we can probably just like put everything in the pot, put the water and bring it to boil. Once it starts boiling, turn it off and like we'll let it seep for a little bit. Yeah.
our tea is ready now. Okay, our hard work. Let's see how it tastes. Yummy. Echinacea. It's like really soothing yeah. to the throat. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, and it blends really well with like the lemongrass, the mint. Mm -hmm. It tastes like an actual tea that I bought from the store. Maybe even better, I guess. <laughs> better. It's organic. <laughs> cheers, and we know cheers, what's cheers. in there. It's really yummy. Yeah. Uh, as a kid, I used to fill it up with honey, right? Fill your tea up with honey or sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I like to see what it actually tastes like. This actually has lots of taste. All natural. All natural. The lemongrass really is good. I really, I think the lemongrass really, really helps out the flavor. The Give it a little, like zing. Yeah. It really, because it kind of covers... If there was something that didn't taste that good, I think the lemon, lemongrass, can just kind of cover that taste and it really, it, it's powerful. So it's really good. Um, the mint, I think it just adds a little sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was good. Freshness. I really like it. I think I'm going to make this over and over again, huh, baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like to grow these things in the garden because it really is easy to grow. Mint just spreads everywhere in the garden. Um, uh, the lemongrass, you can just pluck it from one area, put it somewhere else, it'll just start growing there too. So these are easy things that you can just have that will really bounce out of your garden. <laughs> so why we chose Echinacea is um, we actually have our own experience with it. Mm -hmm. um, remember I got sick like two years two ago? Years ago yeah. <laughs> I was really sick and uh, I, don't, I was, you know, had cough and fever mm -hmm. I think. He was with like me. A flu. And uh, yeah, and you know, I'm not really one to take lots of medicine, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, well, we both had our uh, medicinal nutrition therapy class at Cal State LA a couple years ago. Uh, this was one of the one of the uh, flowers that we heard of, one of the medicinal plants. So we tried it out, and um, before I took medicine, I, it was on the third day of being sick. And we went to Sprouts, it got uh, the capsule. Let me show you what we got that actually helped, helped uh, me out with the sickness. So one of the things we got was organic throat coat. <clears throat> it supports throat health and immune function. Yeah, so uh, with these teas, anytime you're gonna see, you know, throat, respiratory, this is another tea, uh, what is this? Oh, also Echinacea promotes, Plus. Yeah, Echinacea Plus, also promotes uh, immune function. Yeah, anytime you get to see um, uh, anything for respiratory health, you're most likely going to find echinacea. So what really helped me uh, two years ago uh, wasn't just the tea. We got a supplement. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the supplement would be more powerful than what you find in the tea. Mm -hmm. uh, which you, what do you have? One, a total of... Uh, 450 milligrams in one capsule. In the tea, you're gonna find 600 milligrams. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would still say this: the the supplement is going to be more effective because uh, it's concentrated. And then also, you don't just take one. Uh, you can take it once, it says up to three times a day. I was taking it three times a day. After the third day, what do you think? Was I better? Yeah, you were a lot better. I and then better. also, this one has a lot of other ingredients, like licorice root, marshmallow leaf, fennel fruit, just to like flavor it. But then this one is all echinacea. So, what we're saying, and what we like to do, and what we wanted to show you guys was, uh, that you can take care of your health um, through plants, plant nutrition, plant medicine. Mm -hmm. There's lots of different ways to do it. Um, and uh, of course you can buy these things in the store. That's Sprouts. That's, That's where we got all of these. Yeah, yeah. Sprouts is good tea, tea stuff. Um, and of course when you have somebody so creative, <laughs> like Kimmy here, she can always make anything taste really good really really good so love you baby thanks Thank for you. that yes um 
Oh, well, this was really fun. We really liked our tea. Let me taste it one more time. Yeah. One more. Cheers, Cheers again, baby. Love you. Love you. Ah, so good. Yeah, really so good. soothing. Yeah. To the throat. Really good. We let it steep for 10 minutes or so. Okay. Well, we hoped you liked our video. Uh, we always enjoy doing this for you guys, and uh, we're going to enjoy for so many more videos in the future. Uh, so I hope you can join us on our next video where you're going to see me make modifications to the quail cage that we have. And then after, we'll get some eggs and see what sort of beautiful uh, creation Kim is going to make for, mm -hmm. for us. <laughs> Okay. Bye. Can't wait. Thank you. <laughs>